Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Be Well Live session. My name is Kim, and I'm the fitness coordinator for Seneca at York. And this afternoon, I am going to uh, show you how to make a really cool spread um, to go on your toast, to go on um, a piece of bread. It can go on crackers. It's really easy to make, and it's an alternative to like peanut butter or just plain jam. Um, and it is actually, it's gluten free as well, and it can be dairy free for those of you that are in that yeah, same group as I am. All right, so you only need four ingredients. It's very, very simple, and it's probably stuff that you do have at home. If not, they're really simple to pick up at the grocery store. So the first ingredient is you need butter. Um, so I get the basil unsalted plant-based ones because it's not made with dairy. It's made from plants. I don't know how you butter a plant, but whatever. Um, it's something that I can eat. You need honey, you need a little bit of vanilla, and raspberry jam. If you don't like raspberry jam, you can actually make this with any kind of flavored jam uh, that you like. So you can do blackberry, you can do strawberry, um, or what other kinds of jam there are out there. Rhubarb, if you really want to do that one. I like the raspberry one. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put your softened butter into the bowl. So you want two sticks of it. Now this has just been sitting on the counter for about an hour. Probably would have melted faster if I put it outside because it is a little bit warm today. So that's the butter in. The next thing you want is half, <laughs> half a cup of jam. So the raspberry jam, put half a cup into and measure that out. It's actually not a lot of it. So it doesn't make a huge amount of this. Um, and what happens is it's really, really good to like, keep up for a week in your refrigerator. So you can have it on your toast in the morning, you can have it on some toast in the afternoon for a quick snack or lunch. I'm just gonna dump that in the bowl as well. The next one we want is half a cup bigger. <laughs> Don't worry, it's the same, same measurements, just a bigger cup. You want half a cup of honey. That's gonna take for ever to go in there and hopefully there's a half a cup in that so I don't have to open a new one and I may get lucky maybe not no so I'll just open the other one use up all that honey and I know honey is kind of expensive at the moment and if we ever get back on campus, you can buy the Seneca honey, which is made by the bees that are on the Newnham campus or the King campus. All right, so honey's gonna go in the bowl. Nice and sticky. All right, honey in the bowl. And the last thing you're gonna do is just a half a teaspoon of vanilla because when we bake, we put vanilla in everything. All right, and now all we're gonna do is, you wanna blend that. So you can use a hand mixer, or you can use um, like the electric mixers, the, um, the big blenders. We're just gonna mix it up for two minutes. So it's nice and fluffy. don't want to sit near sit here watching me do that and it's pretty well mixed up anyways just want to make sure that all the jam and the honey have been mixed up then I'm gonna take some jars or a bowl or a Tupperware container I'm just gonna put it in there and that's what it looks like it comes out just like a butter which is really cool all in the container so you can put it in the fridge so it will keep for you. All right, and then the very, very last step is, and no judgment, I have a Wonder Woman
Roman toaster because I like to start my mornings feeling like a superhero when I eat my toast. So I'm just going to take, <laughs> watch me stab it with a knife, some gluten-free English muffins and I'm just going to take that honey butter, the raspberry honey butter, and I'm just going to spread it on there and there we go. There is a nice light breakfast or snack or lunch and it's something that you can easily pack with you as well. Um, in your school lunches, if you have to go on campus or to work, you can put that in a little container, take it with you, take some bread with you, some toast, and there you go. A nice quick meal idea for you. Very, very tasty and enjoyable. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Um, and hopefully one day we will see each other again on campus. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.